Hey guys, Andy here, and welcome back to a brand new Life After Navy episode. And today, guys, we're gonna be going over the military tag 2017. I got questions on my phone, and we're gonna be going over them to let you all learn a little bit about me and my time in the service. So with that said, guys, let's get to it. So question number one, why did you join? So one of the main reasons why I joined was because of, well, money. <laughs> this was during the time where there was a big economic recession in America, and so jobs were very scarce in the area. And during this time, I was also going through a lot of jobs uh, because of it. And I didn't really have much of a future for myself at that time. So eventually things kind of came to a head and my mom gave me the ultimatum of either join the military or get the fuck out of the house. And I didn't have anywhere else to go. So it was either like be homeless or join the military. Homeless, military. I chose military, guys. So question number deuce. What branch did you join? Hmm. I can't, you know, it's been so long, I just can't remember. I think it was the army? So question number why? Why did you join that branch? So guys, the reason I joined the Navy <laughs> is because um, at the time, I was kind of torn between either the Navy or the Air Force, and I'm more of a, you know, a smarts kind of guy as opposed to a strength brawn kind of guy. The other branches really wouldn't have done much for me. And so I decided to join either the Navy or the Air Force. And keep in mind, this was during the big economic recession, so a lot of people were joining the military at the time. And this was during a time where recruiters were actually actively turning people down at the door. You know, they weren't going to the high schools and recruiting people that were looking to get out of high school soon. They weren't doing that. And uh, so that's what happened to me when I went to uh, try to get into the Air Force. They were just like, you know, nah, we can't do it, bro. <laughs> you know, they didn't have any uh, jobs available for me. So I went next door to the Navy recruiting office and, you know, they said, all right, man, we'll take care of you, we'll hook you up. And uh, they did. So question number four. Are you active duty, National Guard, or reserves? So right now, guys, I am out of the military. I've been out since 2015, but when I was in, I was active duty all the way, baby. So question number five, how long were you in DEP? So for those of you who don't know, DEP stands for Delayed Entry Program, and I was in DEP from January until I shipped out in June, so six months? So question number six, when did you join? I officially joined the United States Navy on June 24th, 2010. Woo. So question number seven, how old were you when you joined? I was 24 back when I joined the, uh, the military and I was initially very afraid of joining at such a later age because I figured, you know, I was gonna be like the old fuck at the division and all the kids that I was, you know, standing next to in MEPS were like recent high school graduates. And now I'm sitting there, I'm like, fuck, I'm gonna be the old guy in the division. But that couldn't be further from the truth. I was actually at about the median age of people that were in my boot camp division. We had people ranging from a guy who celebrated his birthday just, you know, near the tail end of boot camp to a guy who was as old as our chief, at the time 35 years old. So we had, we had the New Year's baby, and father fucking time. So question number eight, the Ocho. How old are you now? So, at the time of this recording, I am a svelte, sexy, 31 years old. So question number nine, how tall are you? So I vary between five foot nine, five foot 10, depending on slouching and standing up straight. So when my core is strong, I'm a solid 5'10". But uh, when it's not so strong, I'm about a, you know, five foot nine. So, eh, somewhere in there. Question number 10, the perfect 10. What rank are you right now? So like I said earlier, I'm actually out of the military. I'm a veteran, but before I left, I was an E5 or second class petty officer. So question number 
11. Where are you from? Um, I'm originally from a small town in Ohio called Salina. And a lot of people look at it and they mispronounce it as Salina, but it's Salina. So question number 12. Where have you been stationed? Um, I've been stationed uh, in Great Lakes. I was at TSC, Training Service Command, Great Lakes in uh, Great Lakes, Illinois, close by to Chicago, right after boot camp, going through a basic electronics course. Then I shipped out to sunny San Diego to learn everything there was about being a sonar tech. Went through A school, C school, ops, and it went to my first ship out there, the USS Kurtz, FFG 38, 38 Especial. And from there, I went back to school to learn a new sonar system. And then I got shipped out all the way to Yokosuka, Japan to serve on board USS Lassen, DDG 82, baby. And from there, processed out of the Navy. So question number 13, what is your job or was my job? Uh, my job or rate, as we say in the Navy, was that of an STG or sonar technician surface. Don't ask me what the G stands for, I don't fucking know. Some people say geographic, some people say ground. I don't know. <laughs> All I know is I'm not on subs, I just track them. So that's basically what I did is I, uh, Hunted, tracked, classified, analyzed, anything underwater, ranging from submarines to debris, and measuring the distance between the keel and the bottom of the ocean. So, very important for navigation purposes. So question number 14, what have you worked on? I don't really know specifically what how to answer this, I guess like talking about the different sonar systems. So, the sonar system I was trained on to be a tech was the, uh, the AN SQS 56 sonar system, which is exclusive to frigates, which aren't in use anymore. So that's why I went back to school to learn the, uh, the Alpha Victor 15 system, part of the, uh, the SQQ 89 suite, and I learned how to operate it. And uh, that's how I got the orders out to Japan. So question number 15, have you been deployed? Now guys, I'm very particular about the phrase deployed because I know a lot of people, they tend to overuse the words, oh, I was deployed for like two weeks out in the sea, you know, we went on a, we a three-week deployment and stuff like that, and that just bleh, pisses me off. <laughs> people overuse the word and they don't use it right. So, technically, a deployment is a period of time where you're away from your, uh, your home port for at least three months. Usually it's six months and up, you know, you got your nine month deployments, which are like the typical ones. Sometimes they get extended like 10 month up to a year, maybe longer if you're a carrier, I'm not sure. But um, yes, I have been deployed for six months. We did a drug trafficking cruise out in Central America, did a South Pack, which I don't think the Navy does South Packs too much anymore, if at all. I think it's more of a Coast Guard sort of thing now. But we basically just did drug traffic interception for uh, the boats and stuff that would have like piles of cocaine and other drugs and we would just intercept the boats Contact the local authorities and they would come pick up the uh, crew and cargo San Diego based sailors and Coast Guardsmen have intercepted seven million dollars worth of cocaine Back on October 6th their helicopter noticed a suspicious fishing boat off the coast of Ecuador The people on board started dumping bales overboard and tried to get away, but USS Kurtz caught up to them. 16 suspected smugglers were taken into custody. Now, as far as being underway, um, I classify underways as being less than three months out to sea. So I've been underway a lot, especially when you're four deployed FDNF, four deployed Naval Force, especially in Japan, Seventh Fleet. Uh, you're going to be you're going to be uh, going underway a lot, but you're not going to be deployed. Like I said, so you're just gonna be underway, not deployed. So question number 16, how long is your contract? So initially my contract was six years because it was a four year contract plus a two year extension for uh, my rates, which was uh, advanced electronics field, so AEF. And that is applicable to ETs, electronics technicians, FCs, fire controlmen, both Conventional, non-conventional, so you have Aegis and then like SeaWiz and shit like that. And uh, STGs, Sonartex. So the whole thing with the AEF program is that it's 
uh, basically accelerated advancement. So as long as you serve your time and rate, once you complete A school, as long as you've served your time and rate, you are automatically frocked to E4 or third class petty officer. Also commonly known as a push button, which uh, <laughs> does generate some hate from uh, some of the other rates that aren't push buttons and have to take the third class exam. So if you are part of the uh, advanced electronics field, uh, be sure to prepare yourself for the hate. But hey, haters gonna hate and we gonna get paid. So there you go. So question number 17, how long are you gonna stay in? Now, as I said before, I'm already out of the military. Um, when I was in, my initial plans were to just do my initial enlistment, get out, go back to college, and go from there, and I've done that. So, <laughs> there you go. And the final question, guys, is plans after the military. So, this is going to be for back when I was in the military, planning to get out. So, as I said in the previous question, my main plan for getting out was to go back to college, and then once I graduate, get a work visa to work in Japan. You know, teaching English to the kids and doing whatever it is that I need to, uh, to do to live out in Japan, because that's just my life's dream. I'm happy to say that I lived out there, was stationed out there for two years. So if any of you guys have any questions about uh, Japan life and stuff like that, you know, feel free to hit me up on that, and I'll be sure to answer to the best of my ability. But with that said, guys, this is the Andy Sign. Sign up for now. Thanking you guys boop, for tuning into this video and watching my other stuff. And as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.